Aki Morita. Aki Morita was named last week general manager of the Honda factory in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He and his family have been in the United States for only eight months, but the factory is already running at 100% capacity. More importantly, in its latest issue, the magazine Manufacturing Renaissance rated the factory's defect rate as the lowest in the nation. When the previous general manager returned to Japan for health reasons, Aki was the logical choice to take over the position. He had been instrumental in training US domestic suppliers to adhere to the strict Honda policy on quality and delivery. Aki continues to work from before sunrise to well past 8 p.m. He's usually one of the last people to leave the factory in the evening. He is still surprised at how well his wife and children have adapted to the American way of life. His wife is taking driving lessons and will get her license within a month. Aki has already reserved a Honda Civic for her. That way, she doesn't have to depend on her neighbor, the purchasing manager's wife. The first thing Aki's wife wants to do when she has her car is to drive down to New Orleans with the kids on a Saturday, as Aki normally works Saturday mornings and sometimes on Saturday afternoons as well. New Orleans is only an hour and a half away from Baton Rouge, but in eight months, they haven't had a chance to go down and visit the city. As soon as Aki feels more confident in his new responsibilities, he plans to ask Japan if he can bring over an assistant general manager. This way, he'll have a little more time to be with his family and to start to see America. First, however, he has to make sure that the quality and efficiency of the factory continues to rise. Otherwise, he won't be able to convince his superiors back in Japan. Three weeks ago, he was in Osaka for a three-day meeting on US operations. The head of overseas manufacturing told him that he and his family would probably be in the States for at least four more years. Aki is 40 years old now, and he thinks that by the time he's 45, he might be in a good position politically to go back to a top management job in Honda's headquarters in Japan. However, his wife and kids seem to be adapting so well to the American South that they might not want to go back. Aki's life had changed a lot in the last 12 months. He never would have dreamed one year ago that he would be living in the United States and managing Honda's newest factory worldwide. All his fears about his own job and about his family had turned out to be only that, fears.